All right, welcome to another overview of a custom build, and this one is particularly exciting because uh, this is a completely ground up custom build. Uh, this is not a mod like the others. Um, a gentleman reached out to me, um, and he asked for he would wanted a flyger um, style watch uh, or a flyger style dial at least, um, but wanted one that was. Uh, a maximum of 36 millimeters in diameter for the case. Um, you know, he doesn't have a very large wrist and he didn't want to have it get dwarfed by the watch. Um, so, uh, Flygers, um, as you may or may not know, are um, uh, basically based on the idea of the 1940s German flight or pilots, fighter pilot watch. Um, they have a very distinct dial style. Um, dial design and those dials in, in the aftermarket sense if you're just buying a dial don't really come um, in sizes to fit a uh, 36 millimeter uh, case uh, even back in 19 in the 1940s these things were well over 40 millimeters which by those times would have been uh, in those times would have been gargantuan uh, there was a clear reason for this uh, these were a true tool watches meant for pilots. Uh, they were meant to be worn over flight gloves and um, meant for a maximum of visibility for timing uh, maneuvers, what have you, for World War II pi fighter pilots. So, um, since these dials are not readily available um, in the sizes that we were looking for, we had to design one from scratch. So, um, I worked with the gentleman uh, relatively closely to get this accomplished if you let's just go ahead and go over the aesthetics from the get-go uh, so we have the dial here this is that classic flagger design with the internal minute track you can see there and the uh, hour track on the outside <clears throat> you have the, um, uh, the the red seconds hand moving across the dial um, you know, red um, to get your maximum visibility. Uh, now, he did want a white dial. Uh, these, the classic one, would come with a black dial with white markings, but this is a white dial. And if I try to get in close here, you can see the. It's almost like a infinity loop type symbol in the middle. Is actually a lowercase letters A and B uh, for the initials um, um, of of the gentleman that ordered this watch. Um, so, going over uh, further, uh, you can see this features a day and date window as requested. Um, this case is um, I obtained uh, from a seller on eBay um, out of China from the manufacturer. I do not know actually who the manufacturer is, or, um, rather it's a distributor. I don't know who the manufacturer is, but this is a very nice uh, Rolex Explorer style case, Explorer or uh, Oyster Perpetual. Um, it has a nice contrast between the brushed, um, brushed steel on the lugs there and the polished steel on the bezel. Um, it's a very nice stainless steel case. Um, as you can see, the Rolex style case back, screw down case back. Um, a Super Jubilee style bracelet also solid stainless steel with solid end links uh, screw type um, adjustable links there which are always a nice very nice bonus um, another little added feature this little jewel here um, uh, these are not readily available as um, screw down crowns with the jewels but this was requested so we um, so I um, added that I attached the the jewel to the crown. Um, another uh, quick aesthetic thing, if you can see the dome, this is a uh, domed crystal from Crystal Times Horology. They make probably, no, I'd probably go ahead and say definitely the best aftermarket uh, sapphire crystals you can get. Um, now, they don't make one for this case specifically, um, but uh, the um, one that they make for the Invicta Diver um, happened to be the exact match for the dimensions for this. I lucked out, so um, I went for it. Okay, so um, going in a little bit on the other, uh, the technical statistics, uh, the movement in this watch is the Salida 
SW220 uh, Swiss high beat movement, beating at about, well not at about, at 28,000 uh, beats per minute. The Solita SW220 is actually the exact um, clone uh, copy of the ETA uh, 2836, which is the ETA um, day date movement. Um, now Solita uh, is actually the, the they were they were actually formerly a factory that manufactured Etta's movements, um, and Etta you know is is um, the legendary movement manufacturer that the vast majority of Swiss uh, watches um, carry. Um, and then at some point Solita broke off and started making their own movements that were essentially the exact um, the exact same movement as the the Etta one. Um, um, so the movement and the hands uh, were sourced from Otto Fry, uh, as I said, the crystal from Crystal Times Horology, and um, the same uh, seller on eBay was carrying both this bracelet and this watch and this uh, case. So there we go. Um, and before I wrap up, let me just get this light here. Bam, there we go. So what we have is a luminous dial. So uh, as you can see, the hands um, stand out significantly more. They do have the Swiss uh, Super Luminova uh, C3 Loom. And then the dial, um, I basically alternated um, spraying it with a uh, clear glow-in-the-dark spray and then a clear coat. And that is also what kind of gave it the... If I can get the light back on here, uh, what gave it the uh, textured look that I don't know if you can pick up here uh, in the camera, but but yeah, so there it is the the um, the Flagger Explorer as we can call it. Um, I hope you like it. Cheers.